Hello everyone, welcome back to Shonky Lab. I'm Elton and joining me today is my guest producer, Mr. Lee Harvey. Hello. How are you, mate? You right? Not too bad. Yourself? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, you yeah. already know that because we've already had the, the green room meeting. Yeah, they, d- they don't know that. They You're don't. ruining the magic. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Yeah, it's all good. It's all hunky-dory. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. What have mate, you been up to? What have I been up to? Isn't this the, like, how is your week? Isn't that the standard format for podcasts? It, uh, no. No. Not okay. no. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say so. No? Okay. No. I I don't want to tread on certain toes either. So I won't be doing <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to ask, how are you? And that's all I'm going to do. Okay, okay. Uh, we, we're we good. We've established this. Yeah, we, we're good. Um, Excellent. It, people that don't listen to the Black Dog, I was up to my elbows in shit at the weekend, <laughs> which was lovely because we had a sewer problem. There's there's an update for that, though, by the way. So what happened? I don't know. I, I'm behind with the Black Dog. I have no idea. Have you not listened? Oh, no. up yours. Anyway, right, I'll bring you up to speed. We had a sewer problem. There was someone up the road who decided it would be fun to stuff a load of rag into the toilet and then flush it down the toilet. Seems legit. Yeah. It's Essex, it's Essex though, isn't it? I mean, they yeah. do that. Kind of thing, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know whether it's... <laughs> I don't know why they were doing it. They're bloody idiots as far as I'm can concerned uh but yeah they they've stuck something down the toilets flushed it it's got stuck in a pipe in our garden and right. thus backed up to our manhole our neighbor's manhole and the other neighbor's manhole and there i am borrowing some rods and trying to rod it and it it just wouldn't wouldn't shift was it like that scene in the blob where it all comes up through the manholes except not the blob it was poo it was just everywhere it was very close to that it was brimming you know the street with the streets paved with crap (laughs) imagine the hottest cup of hot chocolate (laughs) you've ever seen and it's right on the brim and you you get like the little skin that forms on the top of the brim yeah yeah kind of like that so <laughs> it had a it had a skin on it and there were definite definite turds floating around in there <laughs> and there were definite fly eggs on them turds as well okay i can i'm seeing this now well that that was a, a warm up then for today yeah for flying ant day but well okay there's there's a little little uh well aperitif i suppose yeah. to that that we saw this, uh, I don't know if it was the same Anglian water people, but they shifted the the blockage and we were told that they removed the blockage. Whether they did or not, I do not know, because <laughs> down the road, there yeah. was a blockage. Now, I'm wondering <laughs> if they just shifted. Um, this is all alleged. I'm right. not saying that they did this, but maybe they just shifted it down the road and then thought, oh, so, another call out. So you're saying that they made the effort to come out and get down there and have a look. And instead of removing it while they were there, they moved it to further down the line. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's a possibility <laughs> that something else got blocked after. Right, okay. And so people down the road have now had to call people out because of a blockage. <laughs> I'm just saying. And they're downhill from us. <laughs> so... <laughs> So they just, did they just, do you think they just used the stick method? Just kept poking (laughs) it until it all moved and went, yeah, that's all it. And it's backed up further down the line. It wouldn't surprise me. It really (laughs) wouldn't surprise. But, you know, the guys were really nice. So I cannot knock them out. And they came out on a Sunday as well. And we didn't get charged for it. So it's all good. So I cannot. They seem, they seem a lot nicer than all the lift engineers that I know. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that's not hard, though, is it? Come on. (laughs) Come on. But, yeah. So, um, where where do we start with this? We are here to talk about um, spreads. That's the main subject of the thing. I don't know how far we can spread this topic, though. Uh, Honestly, I I think this might be 
five minutes worth of chat. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but you know, well, we've, we've well, done no, worse. It, it depends. It, th- this could be another scone scone talk. It, it could be because I've just be. seen on Twitter uh, the Right Revenant Org turn around and say the Marmite debate might. Yes, that be is big. exactly the one that I was thinking of. <laughs> that might be big. So it could be. But I, we got a few things though. One that I did want to touch on uh, is Flying Ant Day, but I'll get to that in a second. Hooray! Happy yeah. Flying Ant Day! Woo! Well, not yet, not yet. Okay. Anyway, okay. let let me just do a bit of housekeeping first. Uh, for people that are new to Shonky Lab, we do this live. It's live on Mixler, Mixler dot com forward slash rogue two media and there's a little chat room there and you can join in all the fun what's happened it's died off a little bit because i had maybe a month or two off because of various things but you know we're trying to bring it back and just see how things go and if if i keep doing it regular then hopefully people will join in again and get it all jumping as it was prior to me leaving it for two months so Next time we're recording, look out on the Facebook group, which is facebook.com forward slash Shonky Lab. And I always message or mention that I'm going to be going live that week. There's always a header there as well. So you can always join in. You're more than welcome to Skype in as well. I've got Skype open because that's how I'm talking to Mr. Lee Harvey. And the Skype for joining in is Elton McManus, all one word. So that's that's the premise of today, anyway, of of what we do here, anyway. So, so flying ant day, flying ant day, yay! Is Woo! it supposed to be flying ant day? It will. Apparently, it happens at different times. It depends entirely on the localized conditions. So, it's well in theory. Then I suppose it could be flying ant day somewhere in the world every day. Oh, that's amazing! Probably not. You can have world it tours. Could be. Oh wow! What like what with t-shirts that on the back, and it just says you know like Berlin, Los Angeles, London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? But the, but today in Southampton, in Hampshire, in England, it is definitely Flying Ant Day. It is today. Because yesterday I I was messaging you about how they were just walking around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like as you say, ants. ants. Just ants. <laughs> they're, not, they're not flying ants. <laughs> they're ants. But it's they flying end day, but they're not flying. Mm, yeah, okay. it's um, it's it's warm up. Maybe it was like a dress rehearsal. They were just like, okay, I'm going to go this way and get you, Jeff. You go over that way. Okay, brilliant. Right, we've got it sorted. And then today, out they were flying around, nice. all over the place. So ha- happy flying ant day. Happy flying ant day. It's yeah. it's the most antiest day of the week. Month, I year. haven't seen <laughs> a single solitary flying ant yet. Probably because Great Yeldum stinks of crap. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> might have something to do with it. <laughs> but I, when I was a kid, flying ant day was a, a magical day, I suppose. <laughs> Well, because whoa, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, was a, ma- a magical day? It, okay, it still is a magical day. But it was one of them special... Uh, it was normally during the summer holidays. And then everyone knew exactly where the flying ants were coming from as well. There was <laughs> a certain wall and a, a hole underneath that wall. Or well, this is what we'd do. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes to provoke them, we'd stick little sticks down there just to wind them up a little bit, get them out. <laughs> And that's when you discover that there's uh, actually an ant farm of, of uh, red ants, the army ones, the bitey oh, ones. Man, You're yeah. like, oh my god, run away. <laughs> <laughs> but we, maybe we were arseholes, but we were um, pulling wings off of them. I was a stupid little kid. I think all kids did this. By the way, if you can hear the traffic outside, it's because the windows are open because it is still stiflingly hot around yeah. here. My window's open too, so there might be motorbikes or people shouting. Okay, cool. But, or the buzz, the faint buzz of a beautiful, (laughs) graceful flying ant. There there could be. I can't see any from where I am now, but I'm sure they're there. Good. But they they were at Wimbledon yesterday. Did you see that? What's that? 
they were at Wimbledon yesterday. What flying ants? Yeah, they was they were like all over the players when they were trying to play their match. I'm, I I can only assume that they went through the qualifying system. Um, I I don't think that ants are generally on the ATP tour normally. I wonder if it's if it's like a snow day where a solitary single snowflake has to land on the Met Tower to say it's a white Christmas. I can't see why it wouldn't be like that. I mean, can, do you think you can place bets on when Flying Ant Day will be? Because they all come out at the same time, don't they? Yeah, they, well, not really. They're like it in an area. Yeah. Although oh, apparently um, it's different different species of ants do it at different times. So you could have more than one Flying Ant Day. Awesome. Just oh, the yeah. whole Flying Ant Month. Well, there's going to be a national Flying Ant Day, isn't there? I bet there as is. As soon as it goes national and yeah. everyone starts celebrating it, now bollocks, don't want to know it. Don't want to know it. <laughs> By the way, in you're, the chat room... Well, you're, like a, you're like a Flying Ant hipster. Yeah. No, I was liking it since before it was cool. Yeah, I liked him in the, in the early days. Yeah. <laughs> I liked him before everyone liked it. And now yeah. everyone likes... Now it's at Wimbledon. Nah, it's yeah. all right. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> In the chat room, we do have a couple of people in the chat room, which is nice to see. We have Doreen, Andy, uh, Mr. Lee Medcalf, and two elsewhere as well. So I don't know who they are. So we've got two little secret squirrels in there, which is awesome. And Mr. It's Lee one's Medcalf. Probably the, one's probably the Russian government. Maybe, yeah. And probably North Korea. And one's Korea. probably our own government, actually. <laughs> so, hello. Nah, screw them losers. Hello, spies. And Yeah. Yeah. Lee's having trouble with his data, so he hasn't got any Wi-Fi. Why haven't you got any Wi-Fi? What the hell's going on? Why are you burning up train. your data? Oh, Is he on a train? I don't know. He may be on a train. He said he He's might be on a train. Stuck in corporate hell. Lee, are you on a train? Trying to get back to London. Right. Oh, very strange. I don't uh. know. <laughs> We we keep going quiet apparently. We keep going quiet. Okay, right. Let could me that, just... Could that be that we just keep stop saying things? It could be. Yeah, it could be that we keep checking the internet <laughs> <laughs> for stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> no change there. Then See, this is why the show stopped for two months. Ah, uh, seeming lack of quality. Yeah, that's right. Medcalf's on a platform and everything is cancelled. Oh, uh, it's in Oxford. It's a nice place. Never been there. It's Maybe. nice. Are you trying out for a Cox in the rowing team? I take it you're talking to Lee Medcalf now, not me. Well, yeah. Yeah, Lee Medcalf. He are could you... do that. Well, I, I could do the Cambridge. He could do the Oxford. And yeah. this. I'd like to see that. I'd do that. I'd be well up for yeah. that. What's it like with the proper good crews? But yeah. just you two trying to work out how it all works so you just let... have to sit there and go row <laughs> a lot what row do you fast. say that, that's the thing though what do you say as a cox keep going guys you got this you're doing well <laughs> yeah because it's either you're winning or row faster you're not winning there's very little variation in it yeah that's right it sounds I think, like... I think, I think we've solved rowing. <laughs> Any, anyway, flying ants. Yay! Like I said, it needs a telephone thing. It needs like 24 hours and my glass bowl and all that. Right, wait, wait. Celebrities manning the phones. Wait, let me, let me just get us back into the game, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, technical difficulties. Fingers crossed, they're over. We're... Back, we were talking about flying ants. We are now talking about jam for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the way it is at the moment. We had a, a slight technical issue on uh, the mixler, which I was just telling you guys to go and listen to. <laughs> and uh, you, I, I you can cut that... all of that stuff together in a way that makes it sound like it was smooth, rehearsed, and professional, though, right? Oh yeah, damn right. Yeah, Exit sorted. I, then I think we also made. Mr. Lee Metcalf fall off the platform as well, so... We can get another one, it's fine. What, another Lee? Yeah, Okay. there's so loads of them. A backup one. <laughs> Spare to Lee. A penny. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, right, 
I'm going to move on to the next subject because I, I actually did some work for you. And I was going to talk about fake band names and see if we can come up with fake band names. But no, I took it up an extra gear as well. Okay. All the way up to 11. Yes. So we're going to play a game. You ready? Go on. Right. This game is called Beer or Band. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm I've got a selection of names which are either from a beer okay. or from a fake band name that I have created. Go on. Are you re- willing to play this? Yeah, of, of course I am. Okay. Let's go. We'll, we'll carry on until it gets boring, okay? It's, why would it get boring? Okay, fine. <laughs> We've just been talking about jam for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. The first beer or band. All you've got to do is say right. beer or band, right? Okay. D- are you keeping score? Yes, I am keeping score. Excellent, right. Right, and people in the chat room, if you want to join in as well, you're more than welcome to. Okay, the first one is Vagina. Was that the Vagina or Vagina? Vagina. Beer. That is a beer. Well yes. done. That is a beer. Where's that beer from? It is from a small town... Of, of vagina greece is a home of an incredibly unfortunate namesake beer company <laughs> where apparently oh, no, no. One... It's, it's, it sounds like an incredibly um poor named town <laughs> Mind the beer company <laughs> it also says where apparently no one uh spoke english <laughs> <laughs> okay the next one excuse me can i just have a taste of your vagina <laughs> <laughs> can i have a little sip <laughs> oh dear right you mm, ready it's got a strong aftertaste yeah carry <laughs> on. oh dear <laughs> next one soft yep. dookie band unfortunately no that's a beer as well what <sighs> that beer right let me find the beer that beer is hang on there it is. Right, Soft Dookie. Uh, it's yeah. not a bad band name, to be fair. It's not a bad band name. It doesn't say anything interesting about the beer anyway. So. <laughs> right, Moonlight Sundial. Beer. Nope, fake band name, I'm afraid. What's a fake band name? Okay, right. Yeah, just fake band names. Uh, the next one... Where shall we go? Burmese puddle. Is that beer, beer or band? Beer. You're going for beer, yeah? Chat room, what are we doing for Burmese puddle? Beer or band? They're going for beer as well. Beer. That is, in fact, a fake band name. So... You, you needed to, you needed to find some real band names with silly names. Yeah, well, I, I, this was like an hour's worth of. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late now. Crack on, crack on. Next one. At, at some point, I will. We, we might be able to <laughs> carry this on. Okay, here's an easy one. Go on. Hoppy ending. Beer. That is a beer. It's hoppy ending pale ale. <laughs> Well, I am conscious of the fact that I've said beer for the last four answers now. And if I switched to band, I would be wrong. See, Doreen's doing all right. She said beer on that as well. Exactly. She's just said beer for four of the last five as well. Okay, so you got that one right. (laughs) Or venereal disease, as Andy Palastadi says. (laughs) Okay. He could be having an unrelated conversation. We don't, we're not sure. Yeah, maybe he's just typing to to the audio Mm. quality. Yeah, maybe he's having a chat to someone else in some other program and has accidentally typed in the wrong window. <laughs> Don't know. He's typing in questions. Yes. <laughs> What's your question, Andy? Venereal disease. <laughs> uh, beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Clumsy ninja. Band. Yes, that's a band. Yes. That's a real band, isn't it? They're from like um, Serbia or something. I don't know. I just made it Just up. go with it. Just say yes. Yes, no. yes. Of course yeah, it is. Exactly. Yes, there the Serbian uh, chart um, toppers, Clumsy yeah. Ninja. Yeah, they've been top of the charts for like 20 years or something. Yeah. 
like Ed Sheeran, but more Serbian. Dude, honestly. <laughs> Ready? Next one. Crow's feet. Beer. Chat room, what are we saying for crow's feet? Beer or band? I'm wondering. But they're going banned. Doreen's going banned. I don't know if Andy's going to put anything in there. He's, just, he's going banned <laughs> twice. This is really Band short. band. <laughs> that is, in fact, a band. A fake band name. <laughs> Unlucky for you, you did not get that one. I've just noticed that we've got five listeners now. Really? <laughs> two, two of them are yeah, you and me. As soon as we started this show, everyone buggered off. Yeah, well, we had... But it's working, though. We, it's working. Carry issues, on. So... Yeah. Next one. You ready? Band. Next oh, one. Oh, <laughs> Belligerent arse. Well, I, I know a few of those. Band. No, that is actually a real-life beer. Ah, it's where's it called... from? I bet it's from Yorkshire. No, I don't think so, actually. Let me find out. Let me find the lowdown on belligerent arse. Belligerent arse is... It doesn't say where it's from, but it's belligerent arse nut brown ale. <laughs> okay, that so you funny. <laughs> got that one wrong. What other one? Gandhi bot. Band. Gandhi bot. Dory, what are you thinking for this one? Gandhi bot. It sounds too. It sounds very strange. Yeah. Doreen's going banned as well in the chat. It sounds a little bit too random. Right. It's actually a beer. No, it's not. This Indian no. pale ale raised eyebrows and temp- tempers from former <laughs> religious groups using the robotic illustration of Gandhi mid blessing. <laughs> it's a real beer. Okay, okay. What percentage is it, do you know? Um, I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Yeah. Crack on. Okay. How, how am I doing? Uh, I... Uh, one, two, three. You've you've got three okay. so far. Okay. I'll That's do good. a couple more. All right. We are sheds. I think that's a band. We like are. as in an like as in an actual band rather than one you've made up. A real life band, you say? Yeah. We are sheds. Doreen's going for the the band as well. Yeah. It is yep. a She's fake right. that's why. band name. <laughs> I'm sure that it's real. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to Google now. Oh yeah, go on Google. <laughs> All right, okay, hang on. We are sheds. Go. Uh, no, but there is a website that sells sheds called WeAreSheds.com. <laughs> oh yeah. So, <laughs> um, there we go. Which is just above like sheds.com <laughs> which I really hope that that is a shed fan site rather than like a retailer or something <laughs> <laughs> like rate my shed yeah <laughs> rate my get, shed yeah you just get to swipe left or right if you depending on if you like the shed <laughs> <laughs> there's an app idea yeah. there isn't there there is there is yeah oh uh, nice really. shed Oh, that's nice <laughs> right, right. Oh, super like. Yeah, that's uh, one for the teenagers there. Okay. Uh, anyway, carry on. Last couple. Old Chub. Is beer. It that's defi- beer. That is definitely a beer. That is right up Beer Street. Yes, that is Old Chub uh, Scotch Ale. So, yes, you've got that one right. Yes. And. Doreen got it right as well. Nice one. Nice one. Tramp stamp. <laughs> Beer. Doreen, what are you thinking? Tramp stamp. <laughs> I've heard of that. I know, isn't uh, tramp stamp a tattoo? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm changing my mind. It's it's banned. You're changing your mind. No, I'm not. Oh, I can't decide. Um, well, Doreen's gone no, it, beer. It's beer. Yeah, I'm sticking with beer. Correct. It is beer. Well done. But isn't it also a um, tattoo on your lower back? Yes, just above yeah. your anus. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> we're covering all anatomy this evening yeah right <laughs> oh. last one for tonight yep wheelbarrow mckenzie can i can i um do i get the chance to is this like a gamble you know you can stick with what you've got yeah okay yeah why yeah, not okay, okay. Why not? yeah um, i'll i'll check with the audience oh, hang on we haven't got one um uh, gamble you're gambling, yes. I'm going to okay. ga- gamble, Elton. I've had a lovely day, um, and, and if you I'm go home gamb- with nothing. Yep. It's okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right, Wheelbarrow Mackenzie. Is that a beer, or is that a fake band name? Band. You're saying band. Doreen saying band as well. It is in fact a band. Well Yay! done. You've won everything. Well, I've won it all. Is it like speed boats and fridge freezers and all that? Yeah, you've won a speed boat and Lovely. a uh, Ford Sierra to pull it on. Amazing. Amazing. Well. If if only this wasn't radio, people could see all these wonderful prizes. <laughs> Just with ants flying all over them. Yeah, why not? Right, hang on a second. I'm going to close my doors. That's not a euphemism, by the way. <laughs> Okay. They right. close. Are, are we starting now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we... So let, let's start Song You Lab now. <laughs> <laughs> Doreen said that you've won the Basics Jams for a year. Well done, you. Ah, that's, that's a crap prize. Although, actually, I do like strawberry jam, to be fair. Uh, you're forgetting See how we, we just... came here with nothing, and so... <laughs> It's true. It's true. But it's the, it's the 21st century. I'm almost a millennial. Yeah. I'm allowed to be dissatisfied with everything. Good. Good. Well, let's be dissatisfied with spreads then. Yes. Okay. Let's go. So, spreads. Spreads. Um, where do we start with spreads? Because I'm, I've had some issues in the past with this sort of stuff, which is what, as in the spreads or as in the subject of spreads with spreads i suppose my major downfall was my mum used to make me sandwiches for when i used to go to school okay and she used to use i think this was before margarine was a massive thing it was butter out the fridge right and we all know what butter out the fridge is like yeah you can build houses out of it it's just (laughs) like rock it is, yeah. But when you go to spread the the, the solid butter onto a piece of bread, <laughs> it just peels the bread it just away. It tears it. <laughs> and <laughs> bless her, you know, she heart in the right place and everything. But when she you... might as well have just sort of got a, a slice of bread, a bit of butter, and whatever the filling is, and then just squished it into a ball. <laughs> Because that's all that's going to happen to it anyway. That might have worked better because <laughs> what used to happen, the, the bread would tear because the butter was just, it was just a solid mass. And so yeah. it would tear the bread. And then my mum would push the butter into the bread and kind of polyfiller <laughs> the hole <laughs> with butter. So it was more butter, a slab of butter with bits of bread sticking out of it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and and then the Marmite would go on top of it. Oh, and then oh, it all, all mixed together. You've said the M word. I, I've started soon, haven't I? But it, it doesn't matter because I used to I used to love Marmite or Vegemite and stuff like that. Used to love? I haven't had Vegemite for a long, long time. Right. And what about Marmite? Marmite is still flipping love, but with no butter. It's rank, though, isn't it? Uh, no, it's kind of not. It, it is. It's disgusting. Pourquoi? Why? Why do you say this? Because it's. 
was it yeast extract? It's just, I mean, you've had Twiglets. Which are amazing. They're rank as well, because oh. that's just Marmite, isn't it? Give it's, over. It's, it's right. I have to take these vitamin B12 tablets, right? Yeah. And that's the, you can get this stuff out of Marmite. Hey. And it, this vitamin, I don't know, it's probably something to do with beef. Is beef in? No, that's, um, that's not Marmite, bovril. is it? That's Bovril. Well, that's fucking horrible as well. But just taking this one tiny little pill in the morning is disgusting. And all I've got to do is swallow it as quickly as possible, said the actress to the bishop. <laughs> but So I cannot imagine having this horrendous brown there. It's just horrible. It's like all the worst bits of beer without any of the good things. And, you know, they've made it brown, you know, the colour of bad things that aren't chocolate. And, oh, it's horrible. Right. Oh, okay. And it's also pronounced scone. We're not doing that. We've done that. Because <laughs> Marmite does not go anywhere near that sort of stuff. It's, it's horrible. Why? I, I, no, I just don't get it. Soldiers made out of Marmite. Flipping no, amazing. No, you make soldiers out of toast. Well, yeah, and then you put the the Marmite on it and then turn them into well, no, soldiers. No, because what is the point in that? Because then you, you're ruining the egg. Why would you put, want to put it anywhere near an egg? God damn it. You put soldiers in an egg. That's yeah. the point in it. Don't you just like having soldiers without an egg? Well, no, that's just toast. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so if I cut a, a slice of toast into strips, right? they are not soldiers it's until there is an egg. Toast. Exactly, yeah. Are you some sort egg of pervert? <laughs> Whoa, you're the one who likes Marmite, not me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I've, I've been denying myself all this time. I can't stand eggs. That's the problem with it. Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Yeah. Were you, like, abducted by aliens or something? Maybe. Maybe. So what is your, what's your go-to spread, then? If you had to have a sandwich or something just to fill a gap for a little while. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, it depends on what you class as spread. Because where does mayonnaise sit on this? Because it's not a filling in of itself. But there are very few foods that mayonnaise cannot make taste better. Okay, well, the idea for this subject came from me asking for ideas for subjects, funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> the, the usual standard way that, that Strunky Lab picks up subjects. And Dave Probert right. put in the in the chat in the facebook group spreads making uh oh i can't remember exactly what he said but something about making bread less dry okay so it wasn't a typo because when you originally mentioned it i thought you meant threads the um story of sheffield getting a nuclear bomb hitting it no i'm i'm not that low <laughs> just yet I, I don't need to be brought down a peg or two but okay it is oh uh Lee Metcalf has said mayonnaise is is vinegar and devils come. Wow. <laughs> he, he probably likes Marmite as well. <laughs> to be fair. Doreen says peanut butter, especially smooth, is much That's, better. That is rank as well. Peanut butter. It's why. Uh, what, what are you people doing to yourselves? Seriously. Okay, so what would be your go to thing though? To make bread less dry? Well, you got to, you put some margarine on it, don't you? Okay. And then you put some mayonnaise, and then cheese and or ham, and that is a perfect sandwich. Okay. Right. I have a couple of issues with that. <laughs> Go on. I don't put uh, margarine right. on anything apart from just toast. Not soldiers? Well, soldiers would be the toast, wouldn't they? <laughs> right. Okay. But uh, clearly I don't have eggs, so they're not soldiers. 
but so exactly, just toast. exactly exactly so oh dorian has a question go on type it away and then let us um, we'll we'll grab it in a second but i i don't if i'm gonna have peanut butter sandwich i don't put spread in uh, margarine in there it'd just be peanut butter on bread that is it yeah see i put butter on if i have any kind of breaded thing i put margarine on it and then the thing on top of that why why do you do this I, it's just something that i've always been brought up on right i think you so so like if you're it. making a sandwich you got two pieces of bread do you, you put marge on one side of each slice and then the stuff in the middle right because yeah uh, i don't no i don't do the marge and like today i had hot dog and i put i had the bun and i put marge in the inside why would you do that it's just it's just what you do in it no it's not what you just do <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a chip muffin and you've got so you butter it and then you put the chips in it and you put the thing on and it all melts into it and it's well nice You've got to put, you got to butter stuff up or marge or whatever. I I was not expecting any of this. <laughs> I, my mind is blown by a hot dog, and then right. you put marge into and a then, hot dog bun. Yeah, and then you put the hot dog in, and then yeah. you put your um, tomato sauce or um, mustard or whatever it is on the hot dog. So when I mean you've been to football. And Correct. so when you go to a football match and you I ask for pie. a hot dog. I don't I have a pie. Why would I get a hot dog? <laughs> because you clearly like hot dogs. But, it's, but in, you know, if there are no pies. And you had to have a hot dog. I'd have a burger. But if there were no <laughs> pies and no burgers <laughs> and I got a hot dog. Would you ask for a bit of butter? Um, No, I wouldn't. I'd just take it as as it is. But that's, you know, it's fine. I don't need to have the butter on there. How very English of you. <laughs> I don't want to cause a scene. Come on. I would take my dry hot dog. <laughs> wow. And I will not enjoy it silently. Yeah. Uh, Doreen's question. If you're having toast, do you put butter on it straight away so it melts nicely? Abs- absolutely. You've got to get it on while the bread is still hot. Yeah. But sometimes... Because otherwise, otherwise it's just going to rip it apart, like with the butter. Uh, see, now... Less so, less so, but it will still... Lee, in them. the chat room, he's saying cold toast is horrible. Ah, I, I disagree. Um, I disagree. I, no, I yeah, I think you're, I think you're right. Um, if, if you've got it buttered, it's still pretty good. Well, oh, no, there's something to be said about having cold toast and then putting the butter on that after. Yeah, that's fine. It's cold, dry toast that is rank. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd still prefer it to Marmite, obviously, but it's not brilliant. Yeah. See, I if I have toast, I just put the Marmite straight on without any spread or anything like that. Peanut butter, I won't put Marge or peanut butter or butter down before putting the peanut butter on top because i don't think i think people got used to oh it's a lubricant to help spread but i don't want to mix them two that's not the idea of it for me what for bars do you mean sorry sorry i wasn't listening properly (laughs) (laughs) i wouldn't yeah i don't mix the butter and the peanut butter or the butter and the marmite etc because right. that's not what i'm there for i'm there for marmite i'm there for peanut yeah. butter i don't yeah. need a, a, an extra ingredient there just to help me spread it i don't get that have a bit of knife control people <laughs> but they're all there in front of you and they're all so tasty I mean, that's how it works right <laughs> add loads of tasty things together and it makes it more tasty <laughs> 
<laughs> they're all there next to each other in the fridge. I'm going to have this on there and this thing and that and just all the spreading things. Yeah, see, I went oh, through a phase well. of having reggae reggae sauce on everything. <laughs> I'd have a ham and cheese sandwich. And right, to make it less dry. Standard steak sandwiches that everyone should be eating. Right? Yeah. But to make it less dry, I'd introduce an ingredient i.e. reggae reggae sauce but i've no i've not had that because i'm not a massive fan of really hot things don't you have to have quite a lot of that to make it not dry what reggae reggae sauce yeah not really no just a, a, a tiny is it, is it is it a hot sauce you can get it hot right okay i think but is, a different... is it kind of like a barbecue sauce it's is and it isn't it's not barbecue taste though it's awesome that's what it is okay, okay. i'd love mr levi roots to turn on our christmas lights one day <laughs> that'll be awesome what, just, just what just yours <laughs> just, just come around your house and switch on your lights <laughs> yeah just the... that'd be that'd be brilliant that's <laughs> Either that or Yeldums. I don't know. I haven't yeah, decided it's, yet. It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? I might book him and say, <laughs> no, it's not outside. It's just in here, mate. Just in my front room. <laughs> yeah, don't flick this switch. All the lights on the outside will go on as well. Yeah, don't bother looking out the window. Yeah. It's fine. Just trust me on this. <laughs> oh, it didn't work outside. Never mind. Our tree looks oh, really no. pretty. But anyway, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Lee has said the ultimate sandwich in the chat room. You ready for yep. this? Go on. Bread, real butter, ketchup, both sides. Now, now let me stop you there. This he's failed. Why because is that? Ketchup, ke- short of a sausage sandwich or bacon, ketchup no. has no place on a sandwich. See, I have to agree with that because I can't stand ketchup anyway, or right. or brown sauce. You don't like brown sauce? No, I don't like brown sauce. But See, you do like Marmite. See, I'm really... It's not the same. It's not the same, you're right. But one tastes nice and the other one's Marmite. Right, okay. <laughs> no, uh... See, so what he's having there is just a ketchup and butter sandwich. That's... No, that's... That's... <laughs> It's not good, good is good it? Good luck to him. <laughs> good luck to him, but I personally wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't either. You've got to have... You can't just have ketchup. That's not a filling. That's a condiment, isn't it? That's, it is. That's an added extra. That it's is a, the reggae a, it, reggae sauce. You need a sandwich. Exactly. It's a food supplement. It's not a food in itself. Yeah, exactly. It's not a food, is it? If no. he had tomatoes in there, then fair play. Correct, yeah. But why would you put ketchup on tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> That's just like putting cow blood on beef. <laughs> or feathers on chicken. <laughs> why would you eat feathers? <laughs> We're not talking about feathers. I'm just saying it's like. I'm just saying it's like. Any right. other spreads that you, you have? Um, I, I can't think off the top of my head, but I did think about a downside to putting margarine on things. Hmm. Is that you then always use the same knife to put other spreads on and you get transference. <laughs> Oh, okay. You've just opened up a just massive thinking, can. I'm just thinking of the amount of times I've had jam and there's been buttery bits in it because you've spread your butter on your toast. I keep saying butter. I mean margarine. I don't actually have normal butter because it's just too much of a pain. Yeah. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a pain. Yeah. Um, and then you, yeah, so you try, so you go to get your jam and there's butter all over the knife. So are you. Are you one of these, I wouldn't say freaks because I'm like that. Are you, are you one of these people that get really irritated if there's crumbs in the margarine? Oh, no, because I'm really anal about it. So I will scrape it 
so that it gets all the crumbs out. Yeah. Won't, there will not be crumbs left. I don't know why I'm whispering. Just in case <laughs> someone in my house hears this, but... Look, the two government people have come back. Oh, excellent. That's what we have to whisper. So, crumbs in margarine. This is a massive bugbear for me. It it's fucking not, annoys me. It's not a good look, is it? Well, it's, it's that little bit of congealed margarine on the side where it's just... Crumbed. Oh, where people scrape the knife <laughs> on the top. <laughs> oh, and my feet are going. It's just, it's just a lump of crumbs. Yeah. Why didn't you put that on the toast? Exactly. Why, why do you need to go back in the thing? Why not wipe that on the toast and exactly. have that? Why, why are you doing to me? Why are you putting bits of toast in the in the butter? Even just licking it off the knife is better than putting it back onto the tub. Yeah. But, it's okay. not ideal, but it's better. I will then raise you on this. I know you what? don't like Marmite, but okay, you like jam, no. yes? Who doesn't like jam? Okay, number one over here. But <sighs> let's go with your jam. So, right. said person who has put crumbs in your margarine, right? There's right. still still margarine and crumbs on yeah. that knife. And that yeah. knife goes into your jam. Correct. And then leaves Marge <laughs> and bread yeah. in yeah. the jam. It's just a contamination everywhere. You're what? just mixing things up. You might as well just put it all into one jar. <laughs> you might as well. What, what is it <laughs> with them people? I'm not saying anyone like that is in my family. What is it with my my family? What is it with that sort of person? Right, but what? Okay, so when I do this, you finish um, putting on whatever onto your toast, let's say, and then you can scrape the knife along the edge of the toast, and it will get all the extra bits off. Mm -hmm. It does work. It does, yes. There's no need for you to cross contaminate foods. Yeah, or you, or you can just. Wipe it on something else. Uh, and that... um, yeah, no, because we can't waste food, Elton. You know, Africa and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't think they want crumbs. I don't think that they want crumbs. <laughs> we, we can't just send hello, tubs of... Hello, starving children. We've come to the rescue. Have our toast crumbs. Just the whole nation shaking out its toasters into a bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they, they open these... Um, tubs of margarine and there's just margarine <laughs> and crumbs and then they just turn their nose up like, i'm not having that no i'd rather die yeah i'd rather starve than eat this who do you think we are <laughs> and do you know what i'd make them right for that as well i think so too i yeah. would wholeheartedly agree with their 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 removal <laughs> why not but yeah, the, the cross contamination stuff is just ooh. Right, what what's going on? I think I think we're being called idiots by Lee Medcalf. Yeah, we are. We need to. He's saying we need to step back from this subject. <laughs> we're, we're clearly wrong. Yeah, that's, that's because Marmite of his... love. I agree with him. There's no need for Marmite love. It is disgusting. Oh, okay, right. Marmite is great. Vegemite was it's, the last time I had it great. Marmite is banned in European countries. Is it? I'm pretty sure Denmark ban it. No. Okay. Right, right. to Google. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Denmark. If, if, it, if it is banned, do I win? Ban holidays from 2017? No. Oh, it's... Oh. Ban Uber, right? My first search. Why? Is... Oh, Oval Oval teens banned. There we go. That's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Spread no more. Denmark bans my Marmite. searches. I put Denmark banned, and it is Denmark banned halal. Denmark they... banned Uber. Denmark they... banned Pakistan. <laughs> Denmark <laughs> banned <much>. Marmite. <laughs> um, they've overturned it apparently. <sighs> Stupid Denmark. No, they, they but clearly... It, but it was banned. There you go. They clearly know what side their bread is buttered. On the correct side. 
Dem uh, Denmark say spread could be illegal. Okay, right. This is going back to 2011. <laughs> Uh, Apparently it was overturned in 2014. If it fails to meet safety requirements. <laughs> exactly. That's the very fact that it's an issue that it could not be safe tells you all you need to know about Marmite. Denmark, oh, hang on, Denmark, they should be put on a list because they've banned <laughs> whoa, whoa. several Careful now. items. This is where all the bacon comes from. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to upset you, them. You cannot upset Denmark. <laughs> They, including Ovaltine drinks and some breakfast cereals. It should be a case of, okay, you don't like like Marmite, but you give us bacon. Let's get rid of the Marmite. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that they'd done that. Or I might have and then forgot. Speaking of bacon, you can get it in spreads. Is this like the cowboy spreads? Like egg and bacon spreads. I mean, you don't like eggs, but it's a thing. Egg mayonnaise and with bacon bits in it. Egg and bacon spreads? Yeah, so like a sandwich spread. I don't... You know, you know you can get sandwich spreads, yeah? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't believe you. I need to Google this now. Egg and bacon sandwich spread. It's the future. So, uh, hang on, no. Who's selling this? Like um, Tesco's and Sainsbury's. And... You're joking. Nope. Wow. <laughs> Why would they it's... do that? Well, because it tastes really nice. I've heard of the um, the cowboy spreads. What's it's that? It's not what? grind up cowboy oh, or it's... anything. <laughs> it's... I think it is like a bacon and an onion type thing. And they are quite nice, but only in small quantities. If you have more than maybe a, a slice of bread, then that's too much. Right. But yeah, they can be quite nice. But that's the onion part of it that's making it too much though, right? Possibly. Yeah, because onion's a funny thing. Yes, yeah, it doesn't hand itself to a spreadable thing does it no uh, Although, but you can have cheese and onion spread you can't get cheese and onions yes you can right do you know um you, so you go to supermarkets and you buy ready-made sandwiches yeah yeah and they've got the cheese and onion one and the egg mayonnaise one and all of that yeah the same stuff you can buy as a sandwich spread because it's all made by machines, isn't it? And they all just squirt the stuff out and then it's flattened and whatever else. Yeah. So it makes sense that you just put it into a tub and sell it as a spread itself. Wow. But one of them is cheese and onion. And I... that does taste nice. Oh, that oh, that's, that's just got heart attack written all over it, though, hasn't it? Surely. <laughs> that's why I'm relying on medical science to have solved all these problems by the time I need them. <laughs> Doreen has put, uh, you've made me remember about a pizza toast, which is one of the first things we made in home economics. Pizza, pizza toast. toast. So that it's, must be. That sounds a lot like pizza. It does, doesn't it? But it's not yeah. got the proper base. Or is it that you make some toast and then pile cheese and tomato and stuff onto it? Well, we do something at home called right. baked bean splodge okay <laughs> it's one of these nuke the fridge type things right and you you get your your toast yeah it is buttered or margarine or, or dry as i quite like it but then again if you're going to use the grill then you need to put marge on it so it doesn't burn the edges and you really oh yeah no that, that's that i'll get to that in a second i'll get to that in a second okay okay that's that's a good tip. <laughs> but if if you get you get baked beans and then you put onions and, and peppers and all the leftover stuff that you have that all goes together from the fridge right. and cook it up, then put it on the toast, put it under the uh, put cheese on top of it, put it under the grill, and that is baked bean splodge. And it's anything you want, and it's awesome. 
Now, getting back to the margarine on the toast so it doesn't burn, because you've already toasted... To have some, no, come on. Sorry? I'll have to have some of that baked bean spots when I come up next. Yeah, yeah, go for it, mate. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll yeah. make it you myself. Don't worry. <laughs> There's also with the when you have your bread, you toast your bread. Let's say you're making cheese on toast. Yeah, and if you you should do that under a grill. So you make your toast, then you have to put spread on that. Uh, right up to the edges because if you put cheese on and it doesn't quite cover it, it the heat from the uh oh what's it name um the heat from the the grill will yeah. burn your toast that's already been toasted the, ed the edges yeah yeah so always put marmite up up to the edge ah uh, right okay so that's um you're talking about making cheese on toast now so I was just thinking of normal toast, but no, you're right, because you have to put it back in, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Huh, okay. But I wouldn't do it with Marmite, obviously, because we've been over that. Yeah. It tastes disgusting. But yeah. won't it burn the Marmite? No. Huh, okay. No, I don't think so. Right, I'm just going to add <laughs> Lee Metcalf into the, the chat, so okay. hang on a second. Has he finally had enough of travelling? I think he's going to kick our asses. <laughs> kick your ass. You're the one who likes Marmite. Right, I'm adding him. Is he there? He's... Hello? There he is. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Like, so you're out roving around the country at the moment, right? I am. I'm the roving reporter of the Shonky Lab. Can you give us an update? on what's happening where you are with Flying Ant Day. There is no Flying Ants in Oxford nor in Marylebone. Now that is disappointing. There are no uh, Flying Ants by the Shoeshine Machine. <laughs> right. And there are no Flying Ants by the Upper Crust. Okay. And there's certainly no Flying Ants by the doorway into Marylebone, which I'm currently walking through. Could okay, you, uh, El El if Elton could just update the giant map that we have here in Shonky Lab Studios. Yes, I, I am updating um, it as we speak. Okay. Could you I uh, am just um, yeah, describe the shoe shining machine? <laughs> it looks like two racing car sort of. Looks like two racing car seats. And it has a little machine at the bottom of it where you put your feet in it. And it has two little belts, and mm -hmm. you basically put your feet in it and pay. Hold on, let me have a look. Premium economy shoe shine is five ninety nine. Flipping hell! Is there like a box behind it where the small child sits, so that when no. you've sat down and paid your money, it, a door opens and he comes out yeah. and has business, to shine your shoes? Business class shoe shine is six ninety nine. And apparently, if you want extra laces, which it will fit for you, it's £2.50. This machine will fit laces for you? Well, apparently. But there's no one here, and it now has a button that says, sorry, we're closed on the big screen. Oh. And each seat, each seat has like a little screen, which is playing like TV. <laughs> You're joking. Why do so, we need to be entertained when we're having our shoes shined? I don't know. How long does it take? <laughs> exactly, yeah. He could be there for like half an hour. Yeah, I was going to say, you could be sitting here. You could get for a whole episode of Game of Thrones, for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking past the AMT coffee shop, which is uh, very, very impressive. There's lots of people there drinking coffee. Have, have you and, got, uh, are there random people just walking around? Yes. Would, would you would you be brave enough to walk up to a random person and ask him about Flying Ant Day? <laughs> How are you finding your Flying Ant Day? <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> you do know I'm in the middle of London on a Thursday, right? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Everyone loves. They talked about Flying Ant Day on the BBC News this morning. Everyone loves it. Uh, okay. Um... You don't have to. You don't... <laughs> Hold no, on, Elton, hold on. no, Elton, don't back down now. 
There's a network rail van. I'll, I'll go over to this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm outside now. I'm, I'm actually standing outside. I'm on Milcom, Melcom Place, if you want to match. And there's still no ants. Right. Still no they'll ants. Be, they'll be there. Look up. I'm looking around. There are absolutely no ants. I'm even <laughs> looking. I'm looking at the sign. It says Chilton Railways. There's still no ants. I'm now. Oh, there's a there's a there's a coffee shop called Egg and Bacon, and awesome. there's still no ants. Oh. I'm going to go and see. Hold on. There's a lady crossing the uh, zebra crossing here. Hold on. I'll see what I can do. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm on the phone. She's just looking at me. Yeah. Um, how? Are you, I'm. I'm just asking for a friend. Are you happy with with Flying Ant Day? <laughs> she just walked off. Oh, oh what a shame. Oh, what, you know, it's London for you, isn't it? This is so fucking rude. Yesterday, I don't... yesterday was Flying Ant Day in London, I think, wasn't it? Well, I think so, but she's she's kind of wandered into the station now so I don't know the, what's the going on there station. maybe she's still hung over <laughs> yeah. from the, the celebrations of flying yeah. day yeah well there's a, there's, a, there's a 453 bus I might jump on that see if I can ask anyone on that if you like <laughs> <laughs> don't get killed please don't get killed well you never know I mean you know Christ, I've, I've, I've had one of those days. I think if I died asking people on a bus about flying ant day, I think they'd just had to top my day off. <laughs> so did you, a... did you phone yeah. up to um, uh, complain about our thoughts on spreads? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, he says bringing it back on format. I like that. Nice, smooth. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I was going to say, you, 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 dissed, you dissed the ketchup, which I yeah. can understand. I understand that. But dissing the butter and the on the peanut butter? I mean, come on. See, see, if you have just like a single spread, is it, what's the point of bread at that point? Aren't you just like sticking a spoon in a jar and just eating it? I have been so known to do so that. So you're saying you need to put the butter on and the peanut butter? Yeah, because a sandwich is bread, butter and a filling. So Agre- technically, it's agreed. not a sandwich. See? Agreed. I'm not questioning you at all there, Lee. This is all Elton. <laughs> Well, it was a bit hard to tell because you kept going. Eh, 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 like <laughs> so it's a bit hard yeah, to tell. It's all Elton. He's the uh, weirdo who doesn't think that you should put more than one spread on a sandwich. See, I don't, I don't agree with that. That's just, that's just basically all that's doing is just making bread sticky. Exactly. That's not doing anything. That's not a sandwich. I think you need. I think you need to sort out what a natural sandwich is before you go any further. Oh, we've we've done an episode on sandwiches already. We've already yeah, been down I, that route. But my point is, I think I'm fairly sure. Oh, I nearly got run over there. I'm fairly sure that your the whole thing with sandwiches is it's a slice of bread, slice of butter, a bit of butter. Sorry, another slice of bread and another bit of butter, and a filling. Correct. Right. Well, then after that. You can't turn around and say you can't have a peanut butter sandwich with no butter because it's not a peanut ah, butter sandwich anymore. You, you, what I'm saying is you shouldn't have a peanut butter sandwich full stop because that is also rank along with Marmite. Well, you're clearly an idiot. You put mayonnaise <laughs> on cheese. That's what's <laughs> wrong. Whoa. Whoa. Can, can I uh, just get you to cast your mind back, Lee? The last time yes. I was at your house. Yes. And you made a sandwich of sorts. Yeah, I just basically slapped some butter on some bread and then put some peanut butter on it and stuffed it in my mouth. So I just had this big gummy buttery mess. But it wasn't right. bread though, was it? What was it then? It was um, <laughs> like a tortilla wrap. Oh yeah, because well, we, ran of of <laughs> we ran out of bread. We ran out of bread. The make the making of it is just, just that's just manufacture, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just essentially like thin bread. Yeah, it's, it's still flour, water, bit of butter, and baking, and you know, just it didn't have it just didn't have the, enough yeast. That's simply yeast content. I, I I was applauding it. I thought the way that you handled that was majestic. <laughs> the way oh, that yeah, you, know. you you rolled it up and then almost got your sovereign ring and uh, attacked it, and it was like putting a wax splodge. From a king onto a parchment. <laughs> like a wax oh no, no. Well, <laughs> hold on. Just, just for Lee. Just so Lee knows what I'm do- talking about here. 
basically, I, I actually got my my dirty knife, which had butter Excuse and peanut butter on it, and I wiped it on the on the yeah. actual thing on the outside. What oh, on, the, on the sandwich <laughs> itself? Yeah, it, that's yeah, the that's seal fine. of quality. That's not, that's you're, you're cleaning you're cleaning the knife <laughs> for exactly. the next person. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I don't have any problem with anything you're talking about here, Lee. This is well, all Elton, apart from the peanut butter, obviously. But the, you know, yeah. the, the structure well, just, sound. Well, good. My logic sound, at least. Yeah. So that's it's cool. it's just Elton has a very loose grasp on reality, clearly. Well, yeah. There's no there's no need to not put butter or margarine on bread. I think Correct. that's your fundamental. Exactly. You, after, after that, you know, after that, it's just a waste of time. You know. You can put anything else you like in there, cheese and mayonnaise, if you're an absolute lunatic. But, you know, the rest is all good. It's like saying you're going to build a house, and instead of using cement in the bricks, you're just going to use the water. You're just going to cut out the rest of the cement stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to work, is it? Not really. It's a bit of a waste of time. It, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a hiding to nothing, isn't it? You you think you think that enough water would make the bricks dissolve, but they don't. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. It's just pointless. I, I'm standing outside a, a shop. There is a shop. No joking. Hold on a sec. There is a shop sponsored by Roger Federer that's literally nothing but coffee machines. <laughs> wow. Called ten, Jura. You've got ten seconds on the uh, mix by the way. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, oh Five. good news. Good news. There's what? flying ants on the Hooray! window. Hooray! <laughs> Hundreds of them. They're on the window. So what of of the shop? Of the yes. better yeah. coffee shop. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. See, this is what people listen to Shonky Lab for. That's true. Up, yeah, it, up the minute coverage on the great world events. Just a beautiful, yeah. beautiful sound. There you go. Hold on, hold on. There is a there's a eight foot by twelve foot window, and okay. it has what I would guess is about fifty to sixty queen ants crawling all over it. They're quite small. Do you, do you think but... you could get an interview with one of the ants? See how they're getting on. <laughs> see where they come from. Where they're going to. Well, well, no, because I'm not a BBC reporter right, or a okay. Sky News reporter looking for sadness in a Labrador's <laughs> eyes. So, <laughs> but, but I can confirm that there are definitely flying ants on Glentworth Street. Amazing. NW1. There you go. Easy. On on the Juna or Jura Jura Coffee Shop. Hold on. Yeah, there's a second second window's got flying ants too. Wow. Things Loads are- of them. Things are really getting exciting now. So how There's was a couple on? How is Oxford then? Oh, it's a shithole. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's an absolute shithole. It's it's the one of the one of the most dull places on earth. And then when you stick like five hundred engineers in there, all talking about engineering, it's like it's it's, it's like it's like doubling down on boring. <laughs> are you sure it was Oxford? Are you sure they didn't just make you get off at Reading and tell you that it was Oxford? No, I'm pretty sure it was Oxford because Oxford's got nice buildings. Well, as we were walking around, every shop was playing like the theme tune to Morse. So, <laughs> so that was cool. Um, anyway, I've moved away now. I'm walking past the Thai massage spa. Oh, That's go got in, flying go ants in. on it. No, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no way. It says it says here for entry, please ring bell. I think probably not. <laughs> That's what you do at the you end, might, though, isn't it? Surely. You might bump into Darren Diamond in there. Yeah. To, to I might know. run into Darren. I don't know yeah. anything else. <laughs> Doreen says no, in the chat room that she's worried about the roving reporter now. Is she? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, is she? can she still hear this? Has it not been cancelled? Have we not gone off air? No, we're still on uh, air at the moment. It's all good. Oh, uh, well, now I'm nearly at Baker Street tube station. In fact, I'm actually on Baker Street. So... Feel free to play the music if you feel like it. There, if it's... I had it to hand in my collection, then I would. But unfortunately, I'm not that sad. <laughs> says, the ma- says the man who won't put butter on bread. Stop there. coming back to that. God damn it. <laughs> um, the HSBC on Baker Street, on the corner of Baker Street and Edgeway Road. Well, not Edgeway Road. What is this road? I don't know. Anyway, it's, uh, yeah, that's got flying ants on it. We are... Wow. We are 
we're at maximum flying ants. The Euro Changer's got a couple as well. We're, we're really populating this map now. Yeah, we, we it's are. It's showing us a, a great picture of what is going on out there on the streets on Flying Ant yeah. Day. I yeah, feel that absolutely. we're at DEFCON 1 for Flying Ants at the moment. Yet, mm -hmm. Yeldum is yet we're... to see a single one. Well, you say that, but the thing is, I've noticed that the size of the flying ants in this area are significantly smaller than the ones that attack me outside my house. <laughs> are you going? Is this like flying ants were bigger in my day when I was a kid, like wagon wheels? Well, not really, because it was only like two days ago. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> you remember, Elton? <laughs> only vaguely. <laughs> I'm now at bus stop 84, Baker Street Station, and I can confirm there are at least two flying ants on the <laughs> bus stop. This is, this is really, really oh, riveting. So, so where, where can you get to from that bus stop? Where, uh, might, these, where might these ants be thinking of going to? Are we sending them on a, a, on a task? No, I was just thinking where the ants are trying to get to. Well, it's a golden tour, hop on, hop off bus tour. Hold on, and that's all right. So they're going around looking at the sights. Yeah, the next stop, <laughs> the next stop after this, uh, it goes Baker Street, Paddington, Lancaster Gate, Ooh. Marble Arch, Park Lane, Hyde Park Corner, Pall Mall, Trafalgar Square, Whitehall, Westminster Bridge, Waterloo, and Westminster Bridge that, Road. You know, the the ants come out. They're they're on their one day a year when they get outside. You want to see the sights, don't you? You want to go on a well, tour. You, exactly. Well, you say that, but there's only two of them. Whereas, like, there was about a hundred on the coffee shop. Well, they, maybe they've just finished the tour and they're grabbing some coffee. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they're just taking some time out. Maybe it's <laughs> scheduled to have some coffee. Exactly. What exactly. is going on? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can also confirm that they do like the Joshua Tree by you too. Oh, nobody likes uh, that. Well, apparently they are, because they're all over the site. <laughs> they're just so, visiting their, their distant cousins, the termites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just passing uh, Baker Street, and I'm now coming up on Madame Two Swords. I shall give you more uh, Queen Anne, Flying Anne uh, information as and when it comes to me. But I will say this, they are totally smaller than the one that bloody bit me on the chin the other day. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a dog? Well, if it's got wings and extra <laughs> legs, it, I don't think it's a dog. <laughs> oh, I might, there's, also, there's also someone, there's also someone, hold on, I'm just going to have to judge, judge the audience, so to speak. There's also a person I, I, honestly, has... I don't want you getting killed live on air. Honestly, don't do that. <laughs> Why? It make it brilliant ratings. Anyway, yeah, he's, um, he's not saying don't do it off air. He's just saying don't do it on just the junk yeah. yeah, but there's there's a there is a, a person with a cup, and they appear to be waving waving away a lot. <laughs> so it may well be. The, the more more sort of static members of the uh, London London population might actually be having more of a problem. Do you want me to go and speak to the person with the cup? I think you want to go and speak to the person with the cup. <laughs> um, not entirely sure about that. <laughs> I've also noticed that uh, Madame Two Swords has an alien covenant, alien escape thing apparently according steer to the windows clear. and that steer clear that that is covered in, in ants <laughs> that is absolutely from head to foot in ants that is. are they so clearly on it? we have no but i well, tell you what it's I like think, an evolution think, thing yeah well i think they actually like the eggs more than they like the alien so yeah <laughs> make of that what you will <laughs> I, I i i think i might actually hold on hold on what's this button here it's just tap me so um yeah i don't know what's going on here hold on share photos with this call well that's very interesting anyway <laughs> have um, you gone into a, a phone box <laughs> no 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 do you want me to go into a phone box I've no i don't want you to go into a phone box all <laughs> <laughs> oh, right okay well anyway i tell you what i'm walking past madame two swords right now um 
I can see a load of Marvel Super Heroes 4D posters. I can confirm that the ants prefer Spider-Man, ironically. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, that, it could be worse. Yes. And now I'm like... Fantastic Four. No one likes them. Well, no, no one's going to do them. And eye popping out days. Apparently, you can get lots of sort of days and trips and all sorts of stuff. It's cool. So, um, yeah, is there anywhere else you want me to go? I'm on like this dual carriageway. I think I'm going to be walking <laughs> down the middle of it. <laughs> Uh, but you know, do you want to do you want to do you want to know if or not the ants like Merlin passes, or do you want to talk about spreads some more? Uh, well, uh, let's let's not get you killed by going down a dual carriageway first off, because that, although the ratings would be amazing, and yeah, but I I don't want that on my conscience just in case. Okay. So well. Can I just can I just put forward one thing with peanut butter for those of you who are not into it? But I what? got I got introduced to something the other day when I went to Brighton, and it's peanut butter and bacon. Hmm. In in what I mean, order? I... Uh, in terms of a very thin, very thin, barely noticeable sort of swipe of peanut butter and some really crispy, got to be crispy super crispy, bacon yeah see because bacon makes a lot of things better yes, I'd be interested to see if it could make peanut butter better peanut butter better yes, peanut butter better I doubt it can make Marmite better well nothing can make Marmite well, it, better it, unless... it can't make it worse, let's put it that way well, unless you've got a thing for eating dog poo, then I really don't <laughs> see that peanut butter is going to get improved by that. Well, you know. Okay, talking about dog the new poo. Thing in Great Yildum. Talking about dog, dog poo then, yeah? yeah? Peanut butter, crunchy or yes. smooth? Oh, you've got to go crunchy. But don't you have trouble spreading that sometimes? if you do it properly. You know, you know, us adults who know how to use sort of knives and stuff, the peanut butter, if it's crunchy, the crunchy is not all in one big lump. And if you are getting it all in one big lump, then you can stir the uh, stir the knife around and you just end up with a kind of nice mixture. But yeah, sometimes the, you get the, the peanut butter where you have too much oil in it or not enough oil in in that jar. Well, that's the, that's the quality of the peanut butter you're buying. Are you buying you're not, some you're not just giving it you a going, stir. Yeah. Well, if you haven't got any oil in there whatsoever, and it has happened on some pat as well, and it's just yeah. a, a, a wonky... Hang on. Um, on the theme of quality of peanut butter spreads, I used to work in a Nestle factory, yes. um, and I swear the peanut butter... Because they make sun pat. I'm sure the peanut butter was coming all down one line... And then branching off, one went into the Sun Pat, one went into the Tesco's own brand peanut butter, one went somewhere else, and it was just all the same stuff going into jars. Ah, uh, see, I'm I sure s- it was. I, I'm I'm calling shenanigans on that because I tell you what, I had, I am a peanut butter connoisseur, and I can guarantee, you, <laughs> I can guarantee you from my immense, you know, history with peanut butter, that I will be able to tell you what Sun Pat and what is, you know, little zone. And, and Tesco's especially because they keep the bloody shells in. Mm. That's the worst. <laughs> it's just like it's just slightly too crunchy because you just know it's got that sort of that brown stuff that's on the outside of the peanuts. Well, By the way, can I just give you a little update on uh, oh, ants? Uh, very quick. Yeah, I'm at the uh, I'm at a uh, uh, was it a uh, phone box, and not the the uh, ants are ignoring the phone box, but they are stuck to a sign around the phone box which says International Reggae Day Saturday <laughs> 12 till 6 That's, you know you're in London, you just want to see what's going on, the entertainment, the culture the nightlife. Exactly I think, I think you know what I think, you know, International Reggae Day if you're in London, just look out for it <laughs> there'll, there'll be some follow, flying ants Follow the ants, you'll get That's there it. Yeah, exactly and will they, so, I wonder if they'll be forming a conga line towards the reggae day. Well, maybe. Or maybe they're using reggae reggae sauce. 
I don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is with them. Oh, police are coming. Hold on. <laughs> there they go. They found him. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like the fact that you two were complaining about like you know saying oh apologies for the sound in the background. And then <laughs> I'm walking. I'm literally walking down a four lane motorway. It's it ambiance like a, though. It is good. Yeah. It's, it's adding a bit of ambiance to, to it? our, our broadcast. So I, I yeah. quite like it. It's it's making oh, good. it's making people think that we're not all in the same room just playing sound effects. Well, that's can, good. Can I ask Go you guys a question then? Go, so Go you, on. you guys clearly don't like Marmite, yeah? Correct. No, it's the devil's spunk. Okay. That's true. So adding Marmite to a piece of toast and then grilling cheese on top of it. No. Nope. What are your thoughts on that? Just no. Right. I've tried this. It's it, good, I, isn't don't it? remember, I don't remember it being terrible. It's bloody I, I good. Thought, I thought I probably need to try this again. To make Hold on, the police are coming again. Hold on. <laughs> um, because cheese makes a lot of things taste better. I wonder yes. if if a lady in London has said, "Yeah, uh, police, please come <laughs> quickly." There's a man who just asked me about flying and a crazy man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I'm I'm well away from Marylebone Station now. I'm <laughs> I'm now on Marylebone Road. Cover your tracks, mate. Cover your tracks. Yeah, I'm, I'm doubling back, now. doubling back. Um, no, I, I will say one thing. I'm not a fan of like Worcester sauce, but mm. if you make, if you do a bit of toast in the grill, not on the toaster. Yeah. Grill one side, turn it over so you have got the soft side that hasn't been grilled. Then put some tomato ketchup on it, put some cheese on it, and a little dash of Worcester sauce, and then put that under the grill. Absolutely spot on. I'm getting the feeling that you're that kid that has ketchup with absolutely everything. <laughs> yeah, it's always a pain because, you know, they won't normally put it on ice cream when you're at the. <laughs> do you, at you have it with. Do you not have a Christmas bottle with dinner? you? No, I don't. I used to, I used to have before it all kicked off that apparently no one else in the world liked it was mint sauce on your Christmas dinner yeah with the, yeah, yeah on, on, chi- on chicken on turkey which is just dry chicken <laughs> no no, I can see that I mean I wouldn't do it myself but I certainly wouldn't call someone out for it isn't it cranberry oh, yeah. sauce though? yeah well cranberry sauce is just wrong yeah that's just better than horseradish just... No, horseradish is great. I like spicy things. Give me some right. horseradish. Nah, right. I don't like that stuff. There is a very nice lady who's looking at me very strange because I've just been standing around going, horseradish, horseradish. <laughs> She's looking at me. Are you going to go up to her and ask her about flying ants? Well, I'm kind of 50-50 on that at the moment because <laughs> there are a lot of police cars and taxi cabs around Right. And I'm standing in an area which seems to have at least 15 cameras on it. I'm now by the Globe Pub. There you go. Hello? Yeah, we're still here. Yeah. Oh, good. Right. Sorry, I thought, I thought I'd thought i passed out. Or something. Um, <laughs> right, well, you know what? I'm going to go back and speak to that cup guy again. He seems like, <laughs> he seems like a nice chap. You could also <laughs> ask him about Marmite as well, whether he's on the fence on Marmite or not. No one's, no one's on the fence about Marmite. It's thoughts. true. It is true. It's, it's only people who have had very strange childhoods or like no, that sort of porn where they have their balls smashed. Oh. <laughs> exactly. There are two types of people in the world. People who like Marmite and lunatics. Yeah. Danny or Minogue people, people Marmite, and Kylie sorry. Minogue people. That's it. Yeah, and you strike me as very much a Danny. Oh, I'm very much a Danny. <laughs> See? See? Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, it's just wrong. <laughs> just, it, it's, it's all the right parts, just not in the right order. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, no, no, no. See, see the, pro- the other thing is, no one remembers Danny Minogue except for us three. Everyone it- now is listening to this and Googling frantically. And that's what I'm going to say. I'm Googling frantically as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah when the police come around, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. I've been Googling Danny Minogue frantically. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Have you met well, Cup Guy yet? I'm standing about 20 feet away from you now. Do you want, what do you want me to ask him? Uh, peanut butter, smooth or crunchy? Okay. okay. Peanut butter, smooth or crunchy, yeah? Nothing yeah. Else. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I'll just go past these. Some ladies here. Hold on. I mean, I, like, I, so I don't have peanut butter. Right. But is it a similar problem with uh, when you get um, Branson pickle? You know, you can yeah. have the large, yeah. chunky stuff. It's more well, difficult to spread. Yeah, but, you know, again, it's just like if you use your knife properly. Right, okay, here we are. Okay. I'm going to ask him now. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Um, peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, peanut butter. Smooth or chunky? Chunky. Chunky? He said chunky. Excellent. And then Lee disappeared. Wow. Do you think he's been murdered? That that was a, a wow, that's, that's an exit, isn't it? <laughs> but. He did give us the update on Flying Ant Day. I thought he did very, very well. That was awesome. Yeah. I like, the, I like the sounds of the city in the background as well. That was <laughs> yeah. brilliant. It was good of him to uh, to put those on in the background. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just to, to make it sound like he wasn't in his house. Yeah. I hope I don't have to write an obituary for this now. <laughs> his yes. last, last words were, <laughs> peanut butter, smooth or crunchy. <laughs> That's going on the headstone. Wow. Just crun- crunchy. That was the answer, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, thank you very the much. Cup, to... The cup man gave. Yeah. Thank you very much to Lee Medcalf for, for, for being our roving reporter. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed he gets back to his family safely tonight and <laughs> not in a uh, hospital van. Or an ambulance, or, as or a police van, yeah. <laughs> a hospital van, yeah. That's hospital right. Van. Oh, <laughs> I think it may be time to quit. <laughs> Probably, I think we've covered spreads. Yeah, I think that. And the flying ants and silly band names. Yeah, that would do. I think. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you to Lee for for doing that for us. That was very entertaining. Yes. That was awesome. Good stuff. Good uh, stuff. Yeah. Please pop along to blackdogpodcast.com and check out find, all the to stuff. To find out who the new head host will be <laughs> <laughs> for the future. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to text him just to make sure everything's <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Lee, have you got anything to plug at all? Uh, I don't think so. Not off the top of my head. <laughs> you caught me by surprise. Oh, okay. uh, no, I'm good. Yeah, re- Listen to the Shonky Lab. It's good. There we go. There you go. Uh, yeah, you, uh, please pop along to Rogue Two Media, and you can find all the stuff that I do with myself and Andy. Uh, we do the Grand Prix podcast, which is still going strong. We've got the Band of Brothers podcast, which we've recorded another episode, which will be out hopefully this weekend. Uh, what else should you check out? Hypnogoria, please check that out. What else is a uh, LSG Media? Please check that out, and. Danny Davies art, please check him out and all his stuff. All the links are in the show notes. And that's all I can think of off the top of my head at the moment. I'm sure there's a million things that you should be checking out. So pop along to the Facebook group and ask around there if you're new to this. So um, what will be the subject next time out, I'm wondering? Uh, Let me check the itinerary. I I cannot remember what. Can I get a plug in? Sorry, quick. Yeah, go on. Yeah, listen get, to get the head, in. the head stuff podcast. There you go. My friend Kieran does it. It's good. The head stuff head podcast. head stuff. And they do lectures about interesting things. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Is that on iTunes? Sure I'm pretty sure it's a podcast. Right. Okay. It's definitely on the internet somewhere. But right. it's good. Hang on, hang on. I, head tunes, yeah. Head stuff. Oh, head stuff. Sorry. Yeah, one word. Head stuff. Right. Okay. I'm going to be googling that later on. Don't worry. There we go. Cool. Uh, the next time out is 
believe it or not, the hundredth episode of Shonky Lab. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's taken a long time to get there, but you know, we're still there at a hundred. What's it what's it gonna be? It's gonna be conspiracy theories. <sighs> Amazing. So if you wanna join us, it Mr. Jim Moon will be joining me for that. So that's yeah. something to look forward to. If anyone wants to join us, please pop along to mixler.com forward slash road to media and we'll be live there. Check out the Facebook group to find out when it will be. And the Skype is open, as you can hear from today, where we have roving reporters. I don't know if we will have a roving reporter next time out, but <laughs> Skype is open to anyone. If you want to join in, it's it's easy. Or, also the chat room as well. That's easy as well. So please pop along there. So until conspiracies next time thank you very much for listening and we'll catch you all again later please leave quietly this is a residential area yeah.